welcome everyone to Fedora joint session on Fedora Women's Day 2020. We are virtual this year. And so uh, before starting, I would like to ask how many of you here are new to Fedora and the free and open source ecosystem who don't know much about what Fedora is, how we work, and what happens inside Fedora? Oh, that'll be that's cool, Mary. You have a newbie with uh, yourself. That's cool. I'm a newbie. <laughs> Ramya is actually. Oh, they are listening. That's cool. So, welcome everyone. So, Fedora is actually a free and open source project, and uh, so let's start with what free and open source software really means. So actually, the open source means that the source or the source files which builds and compile, which you can compile to create an executable and run the program, the code behind that is actually open and free ensures that uh, the software, the source code is under a free license. That means that it's not under something copyright, but it's actually a copyleft sort of thing. So, it provides you a lot of freedoms, like uh, you can modify the code according to your needs and uh, reuse the software, even modify that, edit that accordingly. And you can, in some li in different licenses, you can redistribute that and the modified version as well. And uh, the free, as in freedom of speech, but not free beer. So, beer, so you'd, if that's uh, coming inside CD, then I think you would have to pay for CD as well. So the perks that you get by contributing to an open source project or by working in an open source environment, you the biggest perk that you get is you get to make a really awesome friends and uh, you become a part of a really awesome community. And uh, the second point being you get out of your comfort zone the, the, from a student's level. A uh, student's perspective, I feel like the things that you work on on your student life uh, and create small short projects, they teach you a lot of things. But when you work on something which is live somewhere and being used by a lot of places and a lot of people, that provides you, that pushes you out of your comfort zone and uh, teaches you a lot of things and how to manage stuff. Uh, you gain a lot of competitive advantage in your tech ecosystem. And uh, it helps you build up a layer of founda laying foundation for your, for your career. And uh, it actually helps you promote industry standards. And uh, you feel way more comfortable when you work in a uh, day job. And uh, you, feel, you see a lot of similarities between working on open source and the, the things that you work on according to the job description would be pretty similar. Uh, what else? It's totally fun. You can, uh, it's all fun to talk to people and collaborate with them on different projects, learn from them, and uh, maybe teach some people about, uh, about it as well. It's way really fun when you work on a free and open source project and which is being used in a lot of places and it, it just makes you feel good that you are working there. Uh, some professional perks that you have uh, for your free and open source software contributions that you get is you get to work on huge live projects which are being deployed somewhere and being used at a lot of places. You get a lot of feedback and PR, uh, PR reviews, the pull requests that you create for code, documentation, images, design, outreach, whatever you work on, you get a lot of feedback and especially with code, you get a lot of PR reviews request reviews from people who are actually the professionals in that field also. You gain a lot of communication skills when you talk to people on uh, on video chats, you have meetings, you have done IRC, you tend to increase your communication skills as well. And you also get to showcase what you've worked on. So if there's something that you're going to be working on, you can mention that in your CV or in your resume. 
and you can share that in the outer world that you are working on that it helps you a lot in the professional career side of things so as we are in, currently in the fedora women's day and uh, fedora is actually a free and open source software project so we we'll, let's see what fedora is so fedora is actually a community of people who are working together to build a free and open source software platform that can and that can be used on different places like uh, we have workstation servers iot arm that's pretty similar covers so and the things that you build are actually built by built with collaboration from different people you have and we share like a user focused solution that we build on the platform fedora is actually uh, from fedora itself it's, it creates an innovative platform for hardware clouds containers that enable software developers and community members to build tailored solution for their users so you can think of fedora as a uh, community and as a fedora project it actually provides you a platform for your hardware cloud containers like for hardware you get servers workstation and all the spins and labs with cloud you get core os and with containers yeah containers is also are in core os as well so uh, if we dig a deep a little deep in the fedora ecosystem the four foundations or the four pillars that fedora stands on are these four freedom friends features and first so we believe in freedom and uh, you the code that you write is licensed under a free and open source soft free and under free and open source license and uh, what makes fedora really really awesome is the people that you have around they are like way more kind and uh, you tend to me you tend to make a real, some really awesome friends and uh, the third one's features in the fedora ecosystem we try to get a good amount of features in the platform along with that fedora is like the leading one of the leading uh, linux distributions that we have around we have like we tend to port things being the first i believe system d was first ported in fedora as well and uh, i think kernel c groups version 2 are uh, the uh, fedora as one of the major distros who accepted uh, that as a change and now we are on that so these are the four foundations that makes fedora awesome and uh, a lot of people think this is really essential that a lot of people think that you have to be a really great programmer or you need to know how to code in order to contribute to a linux project or the fedora project and that actually not true you there are a lot of things that you can do it's not always about code and infrastructure development or the kernel patches you can do design you can work on documentation you can start with marketing and evangelism that's actually how i started i came across fedora in google code in 2019 i then i organized a fedora uh, release fedora 31 release party in karachi pakistan then i got involved with quality assurance did some quality testing there after that i worked on some documentation and currently i am working on the i3 special interest group we are currently building uh, i3 based fedora respin type thing and other things regarding i3 window manager and i work on the fedora badges the badger backend stuff so i do work on that as well and fedora mote development so the, you don't have to be a programmer in order to get started with fedora or you don't always have to be uh, working on the core side of things you or the kernel patches stuff you can start with quality assurance you can start with documentation there are a lot of people who start with documentation and are currently maintaining a good amount of documentation as well and so you if you would like to contribute to code or documentation you can you can find the code at figure.io that's 
uh, GitHub equivalent for Fedora and the Git server that we have. The other thing is github.com slash Fedora infra. That's where some of the Fedora infrastructure applications are. Uh, the third one is actually source.fedoraproject.org, src.fedoraproject.org. That's uh, actually the package manager. If you're on the package management side of things, src.fedoraproject.org is, is the way to go. There you can find RPMs, containers, and you can fork them, work on them, and uh, create PRs for changes. And the last one is actually the infrastructure.fedoraproject.org slash cgit slash ansible.git. I think that's actually working. That's actually not working. And it's where all the Fedora infrastructure apps currently live in. So this is where they get deployed from. And all of these projects that you will find under Pigio or the Fedora Infra Circle, they're all licensed under free and open source software, and they come across they come inside the umbrella for FOSS. So as you now know, you don't have to be a coder or a programmer who sits in dark rooms and have a hoodie on. Uh, to work on Linux, you can start. You start with you can start with documentation, design, etc. So if you in order to get started, you can contact. There is a special interest group in Fedora who who their focus I work with that team as well our focus is to improve the onboarding stat onboarding styles for newcomers and create a process like welcome to fedora where we'll introduce you to how fedora works what from where you can get started with and we we you can talk to real people in these channels so these are people who are from different parts of Fedora, someone's working on packaging, someone's working on infrastructure, and we a good amount of people are there, and they collaborate together to improve the newcomer experience and provide you pointers to where you can contribute according to a skill set or the things you are currently interested in. So on IRC, it's a hashtag Fedora minus join on Freenode, and on, the, the, and on Telegram, it's join Fedora. So, uh, let's keep the word uh, word down and uh, keep the plus flag high. Free Linux open source software flag high and free and libre. So you can tweet about today's event by using Fedora Women's Day 2020, Fedora FWD 2020, and you can tag Fedora, Fedora Community. Uh, if you wish, you can tag me NasserHM underscore Dev underscore Nas. It's actually underscore NasserHM underscore. So these are slides which I didn't update it with my Twitter handle yet, but with uh, Edward, you can tag them as XGM. He isn't able to join today, and he'll be. I think there are some difficulty on his work and stuff, so you can tag me here. Thank you very much for joining. I'm gonna drop a link for Fedora Join Communication Channels in the uh, chat so. If someone would like to get started with and talk to real people, uh, so they can actually commute, actually talk to us in one of these Fedora communication channels, and we'll be more than happy to onboard you. Yeah, Ripple, I did see that that the last link wasn't working, and thanks for the info that Seagit is now in figure. Fedora infra slash Ansible. If you're on the automation and the infrastructure side of things, you can contribute to the Fedora infra pay infra. So, so I see Marie here. Hey, Marie. Welcome back. You are muted again. Hi. Hey. This time my mic auto reset. I did not press the mute button, so I don't know what that's about, but that was great. Thank you so much. Um, do we have any questions from people in the chat? Um, that's fine if we don't, um, but we could just maybe stick around in the chat and hang out um, for the rest of the hour in case anybody stops by. Some people coming in. Um, 
but anyway, I'm just like curious, I mean, just like talk a little bit about yourself. Like, what do you do right now? Are you a student? Do you work? What do you, who's Nasir? Uh, so, well, I'm So, I am actually Nasser Hussain. I am a student and I'm working as an engineering intern at a development company in the back end team at a local startup here. And uh, I work on a lot of things inside Fedora. I currently am working on the i3 SIG for the i3 respin. Along with that, I am currently working on the back end for badges. That's uh, Badger, along with Snail, who was an outreach intern previously, and I do work on some core stuff. And it's actually a lot of places that I work on now. So, oh, I met, I heard you like mentioning this stuff during your presentation, and to say you're leaving out a whole bunch of stuff. Like, you hang out with us in Mindshare meetings, you go to the TTF meetings, you're a part of the DNI team. Um, this year is doing more than he's taking credit for. Um, you work really, really hard for Fedora, and we appreciate you. So I just wanted to say that out loud. <laughs> uh, thanks, Marie. It's actually really great for me to be able to talk to you all and to contribute to something which is used in a lot of places and to learn a lot, because like my journey that started with was with Fedora, it was when I was around 14 and I came across Google Coding and we had a lot of tasks there. I even, I didn't even knew what Ansible was in 2000, like before Google Coding and that's how I actually started with how things work and now I mostly work on Python, Go and Rust in my day job and with Fedora, it's uh, a lot of things. <laughs> So, uh, thanks, Yona. With uh, oh, Ripple's asking for a cake. Oh, no cake yet. I'm actually at my sister's place and I'm sitting in her kitchen today. So, you see some kitchen things behind you, but no cake yet. <laughs> I actually think I'm gonna make brownies. Brownies. Oh, that's nice. I thought, oh. <laughs> No, oh, it's 9.22 in the morning. <laughs> um, so I guess I have a few more things that I could probably add on to this join session. Um, you know, we're going to publish these on YouTube and love to be able to send them to um, newcomers. Um, you know, hey, check out this video. So... I guess one thing I want to say is don't be afraid to say hi and to put yourself out there. I know like going into a chat room for the first time, you've never met anybody there and saying hello can be intimidating. A lot of, I mean, there's all kinds of people in this world, but I know that there's plenty of introverted people. I'm an extroverted introvert. <laughs> so I have those moments where I don't want to go into gosh, this, this chat room, there's nobody talking here and I'm just supposed to say something? What are you, crazy? Um, so I understand the feeling, but I encourage you to overcome that and go ahead and send that message. Um, find a group within Fedora or any open source community that you're interested in of people who are doing things that you're interested in. So then you have like a personal connection with these people beyond just wanting to work on Fedora. And you got to start to build friendships and bonds with people. You get the chance to potentially get some mentorship from people. Um, there are many, <clears throat> many things you can get from um, being part of Fedora, but I guess Specifically, just have courage, put yourself out there. Um, you can learn, people are kind and they're willing to willing to teach you. Occasionally, just like anywhere we run across someone who might not be, but I'm gonna tell you for the most part, we are. <laughs> so,
So um, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Look for people who are doing things that you like to do and try to connect with them. Um, you know, use Fedora as a way to overcome imposter syndrome. We heard a story today from Samira about that. It was great. Um, here you will be recognized for the work you do and you can get that appreciation and that fulfillment. So just a, a bunch of a bunch more thoughts about, you know, joining Fedora and getting to be a part of Fedora. We can send you all the links and give you all the resources, but without the will and the encouragement to get involved, it can be overwhelming. So I'm here saying this is for you and you are welcome. Uh, thanks, Mary, for sharing your thoughts and ideas. Uh, I feel the same way because it was actually really, really intimidating for me to after Google code and to uh, get actually involved with Fedora and to ask people just for just about that I would like to get started. And uh, what you find after making that first message or that you are a newcomer here and would like to get involved, you find really great people who eventually become your friends afterwards and you tend to feel you that feeling of intimidation just goes away with time and when you are actually get started with doing stuff so just don't be afraid and within the, in the communication channel just type a message about getting started that you want to get started and these are your skills and we'll be more than happy to help you to get started, provide you pointers, provide mentorship regarding Fedora, the different places you want to work on, different groups. We'll be more than we'll be more than happy to have you there. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Monsieur, for taking time on your day to come and present and all the help that you've given for Fedora Women's Day and everything else. Um, I'm going to jump off the call for now, and then I think there's another session in a half an hour. So I'll just be hanging around in the chats, and I'll talk to you guys and see you around. Bye.